Here we have a new 2024 Nissan Armada. This one comes in the platinum trim level with four wheel drive. Color is brilliant silver. We get the beautiful brown quilted leather interior. For the powertrain, we get a 5.6 liter endurance V8 engine. Made it to a seven speed automatic transmission. And that gets us 400 horsepower, 413 pound feet of torque. Not too many changes to the Armada. As we get to the front end here, we still get that beautiful front fascia. LED headlamps, LED daytime running lights, and LED fog lights. And the daytime running lights don't flash like that. That's just how my camera's picking it up. But again, just a nice looking front here. Love the big badge. Front parking sensors, I love how those are out of the way. Also, these wheels are spectacular. These are gonna be 22 inch alloy. Now we get past the keyless entry on the front two doors. And then our running boards are there. Illuminated kick plate. Memory seat functions. One touch automatic up and down windows on all four doors. Power door lock controls, power mirrors. And then we have power folding mirrors as well. And those have blind spot monitors in them. And I've always loved the, the leather there. It just feels nice. It looks real. Like the trim there as well. Bottle holder. Heated steering wheel toggle. The safety sense. Blind spot monitor toggle there. And then we can power that rear door on or off power lift gate actual button is there now we have a foot pedal brake still so push it for on push it for off hood release power tilt and telescoping steering wheel we have our gauges here to toggle the trip meter as well as the brightness of the gauge cluster there and here's our power driver seat power driver seat excuse me and we get two-way power lumbar support but i love this brown interior and the black pinstriping there it just it looks very good but i have the seat up front adjusted for someone of my size being 6'3 with longer legs so we're about to check out the rear seat room but i want to give a big shout out to john roberts nissan here in manchester tennessee for allowing me to review this armada so if you're looking at getting one of these armadas definitely make sure you check out john roberts nissan and then if you want to get the best price on one in your local area check out the link below fill out that form and then we'll get somebody in contact with you that's trying to give you the best price. But back here, tons of space. I love the look of the front end from back here. Seat back pockets are on both sides. And then we have two stage heated outboard seats here and our automatic climate controls are there. And we can pop the storage space from back here. And then we do have the captain's chairs option. So we have the center console space here as well. So bottle holders are there. Big storage compartment here. And then there's a look at the third row. But we also have storage right in here as well. So I like how that's set up. I like that we get the LED dome lights here too. cap is there premium is recommended but not required and then to the back there i love those lights there just a beautiful back end here and then hidden behind there's a trailer hitch spare exhaust and then with the third seat down tons and tons of space here this one has all weather floor mats too. Storage underneath there. First aid kit. And then we can also, I like how this is set up. So I can actually pull right side or left side up or down here. And I can fold that seat up. Of course that seat has to be up far enough to do that. But it's also nice that we can get the seats there as well. 12 volt. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna scoot these up just so I can actually show you. We can tumble the seat too, but to get that up, that's usually how you have to have it. So I can pump the seat up, it just takes a little while. And then once it's up, 
you can see that leg room back there. And then you can also see, so this is actually for the third row, I guess. So if you want to do it from that second row, I guess that makes sense. It's kind of weird to do that, but okay, it's whatever. So I'm going to fold this seat back up now, and then we're going to come around to the rear passenger side and then just take a quick look. at how we can get this done. So basically to get to that third row, you just pull up again, tumble the seat, and then you can get back there pretty easily. And the only big thing is just having that there. Otherwise it'd be easy to get through the middle there. Well, let's take a quick look at this window sticker. Y'all can pause anywhere you need to, to take a closer look. But there's the sticker price there, fuel economy numbers. Power front passenger seat with two-way power lumbar. And then a lockable glove compartment here. Now I'm kind of excited to see for the Armada because it's been a while since we've had a, a redesign. I'm thinking for 25, we might get something similar to that new QX80. So I'm excited to see the powertrain and all of that there. But there's that Endurance V8. And let's go ahead, hop in the driver's seat, take a quick look at what we have here. So leather wrap steering wheel here. And I actually feel like the design is very nice. I love the stitching here, the subtle stitching throughout makes it look very premium there's a horn there now over here to the radio i love the display great graphics we get am fm xm wireless apple carplay standard android auto compatibility and then we can go to the menu here and pull up all of these options right in here now we do have navigation as well so we can find a point of interest, add our home address, destination, so on and so forth. And then in our settings here, we can talk about connections, navigation settings, sound settings, and then go in here to change your language or units of measurement. Backup cameras here, guidelines follow you, you turn the steering wheel, you also have the bird's eye view with the guidelines as well. And then we have our front camera here with guidelines too. Now, audio can be adjusted here. Click that to mute it. And then we have a tune knob here. And then we also have the audio settings so we can click push here and then we can pull up the bass treble, so on and so forth. Hazards are here. And then we have dual zone automatic climate controls, three stage heated cool front seats. The passenger side is behind that. But all of your settings are in there, including the rear AC controls you can do that as well and then the fan speed can be adjusted here like the trim like how it says armada right there and then hit this button here you have a hidden wireless charging pad there along with the 12 volt over here and then trailer brake controller down here usb-c usb-a port and then with this and having the four-wheel drive system there are all of your controls for that there including the traction control now for the shifter Grab the lever, reverse, neutral drive, come over here to manually shift. And then we have a few shortcut buttons, including the audio menu. We'll pull that up, map, camera, and then our back button as well. Bottle holders are here. And then here we have our sunroof, manual sunshade, but here we have the one touch roof there. We can one touch close it as well. There's look the back from up here. And then if you wanna get this center console cubby space open, pull this lever and that gets you to the, the deep pocket. I think that's a removable tray there, but good space in there. And then rear camera mirror, toggle that on or off there. Garage door transmitters are right there. And then we have the menu and we can fool with the settings there for the actual camera mirror. 
sunglasses holder, vanity mirror. Now back to the steering wheel, blinkers, high beams, flash, and then our fog lights are there. And then we do get automatic wipers, so one time off, auto, low, high. We can adjust that auto sensitivity there, our rear wipers here, and then pull, push back for the rear wiper fluid, pull up for the front wiper fluid. And then over here, we can go through track list, radio station presets, and then over here we can go through our sub menus. And then once you're actually in there, you can use this to go through your sources in that particular menu there. But in the audio, you can go through this to go through the actual presets. Now over here, cruise controls, set the speed, Bluetooth, voice recognition. Push button start. Finally, here is the key fob with remote start. 